Launch the Red Baron. Shut the hell up. My question is, why can't Zero fly this plane? Why's it got to be Carl? At the end of the day, this is Zero's toy. <laughs> Excuse me, or creation. I mean, Zero, I know you've just, uh, you've just spent a couple of hours uh, being strung up by your underwear. But that would, have, that would uh, cause your backside to be in pain, not your hands. Alright, excuse me, you stay away. Right. Okay. Correct, they don't attack you until you attack them. Good to know, right. Jesus! Well, everybody, I think we have, we really have found the mission of the playthrough. I know I've not done the driving school or the car showroom yet, but still. Yeah, I actually, <laughs> actually, I take that back. I take back what I said about this mission. I have a feeling the wheelie weave test in driving school. will be the most challenging thing that I'll do in this playthrough. I totally forgot to speak about driving school during the credits. Yeah, I said I would and I totally forgot. Fuck. Ah, oh, one fucking bullet! Go away, Tanner. One fucking bullet! Oh, for fuck's sake. That was bound to happen at some point, wasn't it? Okay, so in that case, since I completely forgot to talk about driving school during the credits, I'll talk about them now. So th again, thanks to Tommy for the tips and uh, details, etc, etc, about the driving school with vehicle OHKO. So I think the two most difficult driving school tests with this mod will be Wheelie Weave and Pit Maneuver. For Pit Maneuver, you just have to scrape against the other cop car as gently as possible. As for wheelie weave, I think that's all about luck. Tommy also told me that uh, in Ali Oop, although the car bursts into flames when you hit the ramp, it gets repaired when it's in midair. And thankfully, um, only the vehicle's current health or damage will affect the your final score at the end. So even if you do take damage by hitting that ramp, when it gets repaired it will cancel that out and it won't affect your medal at the end. What's the best thing to do here? I guess I could let them have it just before they go around the corner. And then I'm just going to have to shoot them from as far away as possible, I guess. 
or try to. Come on, speed up, guys. Yeah, I'm still getting shot at. Yeah, well, so are they now. Badly. Should have landed a few hits here and there. More like here, there, and everywhere. Come on, blow up already. If I'm too far away, I won't get shot, but neither will they if I'm too close. Oh! Never mind. Haha! <laughs> right, whatever you do, don't screw it up now. Fucking buildings. Come on, Stu. People have to live and work in this city, you know? Don't they realise this playthrough is more important? Yeah, folks upstairs, you're listening. Right. Let's go for this uh, van. I'm assuming it's a van that's up here. How far away is it? Bloody hell. This will hopefully speed things up a bit. I'm still not smoking, that's fine. There we go. <laughs> Only three delivery boys left. Right, back to southern San Fierro we go. But watch your fuel. I've almost only got half a tank left. I have a horrible feeling the mission is going to fail because I took too long to take out the bikers. Right. Cyclist dead ahead. Stop, 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 stop. Take her out before she takes me out. And don't worry about running out of fuel because um just uh, let go of the accelerator and you won't consume any fuel. Remember, this is the PC version, not the PS2 version. Now, where's that other courier going? Yeah, Missionary Hill. As long as they don't go all the way down there, I'll be happy. How far away is this guy? At the beach, okay. La Plage, French for the beach. Right. 
Right, so we have another van. Right, first I'll spin myself around without wrecking the plane. Oh Christ. Oh no, you... Oh no! I had no idea there was like a passenger in that van. I don't fucking believe it. Oh, that is devastating. Holy shit. Plane's okay, it's fine. As long as you land on your wheels and not your wings, you're safe. Cool. Good to know. Don't cut the corner too much. Yeah, otherwise they might be able to get a shot off. Oh, fucking tree! Fucking wing almost hit the ground there. Surely I've hit the bike a few times with some bullets. Right, mind the tram. I saw a few sparks on the back of that bike. Stop lagging, please. No need for it. Ah, uh, sometime today would suit my approval. Can't be long now, surely. <laughs> hey, there we go. Patience, patience, patience. Floodlights. I don't think they're floodlights, I think they're just uh, bright street lights. Yeah, well, they're something I should avoid flying into all the same. Right. Before I start shooting at a van, I will check to see if there's a passenger inside it. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, we will get a repeat of what happened during the previous attempt. Yes, indeed. By the way, uh, me flying into that guy a few minutes ago, he found out the hard way that there is an extreme form of plane spotting. Okay, the passenger seat appears to be empty, are you sure? It's either that or the, the seat is a uh, very similar colour to the driver's clothing. Come on, Bobcat. Pissed off drivers cause accidents. 
Alright, okay. Let me turn around. You got it. Right. Which one's closer? Okay. The one that's just past the clocking bell. Just outside, actually. Right. What do we have here? Another van with a passenger, right? Correct. Okay. Nice and easy. Hmm. Does this thing not have a petrol tank? Yes, it's right there. Of course, if it does blow up as a result of me hitting the fuel tank, the plane will get blown up as well. Right. It happened again. Yep, the passenger shot it again. How many attempts is this now? I don't think I want to know. Alright, so we now know who the most difficult enemies to take out during this mission with this mod are. Yep, the bikers. And one van. Because I think it's just one van. Right, why'd that fucking sentinel have to be there? Go on, get out the way. That could have wrecked the plane. It could have easily wrecked the plane and so could that fucking tram. Sorry, mister. You'll be shitting RC Baron bullets in hell. Take off, take off, take off. Watch out for the traffic shites, traffic shites, traffic shites. Oh shit. No way. No fucking way. <laughs> nice one. Right, I'll take out this enemy just while I'm in the area. Yeah, just get it over with. Save me from going back and forth. And I know there is a more difficult enemy to deal with at the moment, but still. Right, I'll take out that van with the passenger in it in the same way that I take out the pair of bikers. Yeah, that's what to do. Now, question, is that rocket launcher always there? Or is it the... Is it, st is it still there because I didn't pick it up during Torino's last flight a while ago? Answers in the comments, please. Right, 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 right. Whoa, stop, stop, stop. Have you even shot him? Yeah, must have done.
Right, passenger or no passenger. Unfortunately, passenger. Right. Fine. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Oh! It was bound to happen at some point. You know, let's take out that van with the passenger first. Or should I say second? Or early, yeah, early. I think they're taking off now. What do you mean taking off? They're not a plane. Oh, shut up. I know what I'm talking about. So, the good thing about this van is it's a big target compared to the bike. those chimneys. Going down chimneys is not a job for CJ. Ah, only three delivery boys left. It's a job for Father Christmas. Who? Oh yeah, you mean that guy in the red suit with the beard who goes ho ho ho. Right, while I'm in the area, I'll take out the cyclist. Could this be the successful attempt? I bloody hope so. Yes, game, I think I know how to fire the machine guns by now. I've been doing it for the past. Goodness knows fucking... I've been doing it for the past goodness knows how many minutes. Yes, yeah, Zero, I think I think we know by now what he's using his lackeys for. And that they're sycophants. <laughs> Excuse me. Too close, too close, way too close. Boom. Sadly, no. He's turning right, okay. It's the trees again, everybody. Fuck, jeez. I mean, I know CJ's gang colour is green, but come on. That's a bit extreme. Shit, I'm too close. And that was too hard. Why can't they all jump out, like this guy? No doubt at one point I'll get killed by that first guy back there. Oh yeah, it's bound to happen. Oh yeah, right, it looks like he's taking a good path this time. F 
fuck, I'm too close up. Pull up your trousers. You. Wing almost scraped against the ground. And I almost raged yet again. Surely it's burning by now. Aha, only three delivery boys left. I was absolutely right. Right. Uh, I'm closer to that one. I guess I'll go for the cyclist then. So they all behave differently. The van driver who's closest to the shop from the start jumps out as soon as you open fire on the van. Another van has a passenger who shoots at you. And the third van... Uh oh. Yeah, as for the third van, the driver stays inside it until it goes up in flames. Okay. Let's go for the bikers. Same strategy as always. Keep your distance. And be patient. I'm assuming the bikers are on the left. Yeah, there. And that'll be the van. When I've played this mission for long enough. I should know by now. Well, you never know. The one that I'm approaching could very well be the van. Nah, I'm 99% sure it's the bikers. So who's been stealing the Yale? What? Oh, yeah, it's, um, the bikers. You sure? Yeah, of course I am. Oh, Lance, Vance, Dance, I saw your nose growing like Pinocchio. Right. Shit. Hold on a minute. Right. Hold on, hold on. I was too scared to land in case uh, I hit the ground too hard and wrecked the plane. Which, sadly, as we saw, has happened before. Why is that tree got to be so fucking tall? Come on, tall trees, go back to Red Dead where you belong. Right, they've turned left, as in their left. And unfortunately, I think they're going up a hill. Oh, go away, Clover. Right. Oh, shit. Whoa, they fell off. Good. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Thank God for hills. Nice one. <laughs> I think what happened... What, fucking taxi. I think what happened was they, they reversed down the hill. And in doing so, they just went tumbling off. Right, one more, one more, and I've still got plenty of fuel left. Take your time. Yep, 
He's going. Right back at you. Let's go. So the only obstacles now are, of course, buildings and shit. Buildings and shit. What's San Fierro's sewer system got to do with this? Right. And I think the very last obstacle will be uh, the roof touched down in that red marker as gently as possible. Jeez. My heart rate has uh, increased a wee bit. I am nervous as shit. Please do no more shit jokes. Was the pun really intended? Oh god, almost there. The yellow triangle's getting closer and closer, and so is the red marker. Oh god, please, please. Oh, the smirk on my face is so fucking big right now. <laughs> There's only one thing for me to do now. Oh man the fuck up, it's only a fucking helicopter. Yep, what am I doing now? Saving, of course. What else? What else would I be doing? At long last, a new mission, new model army. Which should be a damn sight easier compared to what I just went through. Holy fuck, that was tough. Man, I know I've not done it yet, but I reckon uh, wheelie weave at driving school will be a lot worse. It might not be, but you never know. Behold, a much easier mission. Right, I'll do my usual. Take out the tanks. First. First, let's see. Do you get a new helicopter? Don't be an idiot. Use the goblin to move that barrel. If this one gets wrecked. Yes, you do. Yeah, I was right. By the way, in one of my uh, San Andreas playthroughs, I mentioned uh, um, Carl, I'm an online novel of this game. You know, it's told from CJ's perspective, and the author added um, additional storylines and plots and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure that for this mission, um, Berkeley actually appears in person. But I can't remember if uh, the author gave him uh, an appearance description. You know, what he looks like. Once I've taken out these tanks, I'll move that barrel. Go around at zero. No, it's against the fucking rules, Carl. Might be worth taking out that goblin as well. That's in Berkeley's one. Right, there's one tiger remaining. Carl, I'm blocked. Go on then. Let's get that barrel out of the way then. To stop him from whinging all the time. to bridge the gaps as well, yeah. Alright, let's grab a plank. A 
And remember, you can reuse the same plank. So you don't have to keep going back to base to get a new one. Use that noodle. Must Roth beat some sense into that overcooked noodle of yours that you call a head? God, Ed, Ed and Eddie was full of funny lines. I think, uh, for me, the funniest one was uh, when Double D was uh, yapping to uh, Rolf, and then Rolf said, you need to eat more fibre. <laughs> As in, he's full of shit. Right. At least uh, Berkeley can't refill his supply of tanks during this mission. Can I take them both out? Or did I take myself out in the process? Oh, well played. You completely missed both of them. Yeah, not just the tank. And this mission is a lot easier than the supply lines, but it's Fucking annoying. If only bombs were reusable in this mission. Carl, I'm blocked. No, Stu, I think you'll find that if you be if you decide to become a bomb, it's a one-way street. Like the big daddies in Bioshock. There's another barrel in the way. Right, battle. Where? Beside the statue thing. Oi! Right, what's next? Another bridge, I think. Aye. Oh, another bottle. Didn't see it there. Any more bridges? Nope, that's it. Just bottles. Fine. I'm assuming there aren't any bombs at Berkeley's base. Only zeros. <laughs> Excuse me again. No. One zero got on with it before he drops another barrel. Which he's not gonna do. Perfect. Berkeley, you sir are a loser. Leave the field of battle in shame, pack up your crummy mail order business, and get out of my town. Carl, you were all a duelist like me could want in a second. Sir? I salute you. All right, at long last, but we're about to move from one challenging mission to the next. <laughs>